everyone in this video we are going to have a look at a portfolio that was sent to me for review i'll share with you seven quick ways of how you can refine your presentation skills so if you would also like your work to be reviewed by me you can send me your pdfs at my email id and i'll try my best to get back as soon as possible okay so because this uh, review will be a little critical and we don't want to hurt someone because we have two good people you know so we'll keep the portfolio anonymous all right so let's start with the first slide this is basically an introductory slide where uh, you talk about yourself this is an optional step some people choose to talk about themselves and some people don't it's not like an absolute must but if you do want to talk about yourself then you want to avoid a paragraph why because anybody who's having a look at your portfolio especially for college admissions will not be having more than 2 or 3 minutes to scan your work and it's very less likely that in that short span of time they will go through each and every text that you know line that you shared in your introduction so it is best to break down your paragraph into smaller segments in this case the paragraph is all in caps lock and caps lock is best used for headings or captions where you want people to where you want to grab people's attention when it's a paragraph talking about yourself we need not use all capital letters coming to the first page it's a watch which is inspired by dory iconic disney film character needs no introduction i know <laughs> and the shape of the watch is fun it's inspired from the shape of the fish which is quite easy to understand but you know because you're having fun you don't have to be worried about practicality then you can have a blast even the dial of the watch does not have to be circular it could be inspired from the shape of the fish it could be a fun wavy shape the hands of the watch also need not be very traditional you can be inspired from uh, let's say the fins of the fish the strap of the watch could be a soft mushy material something that is inspired from the feel of the character dory and because the character has a predominance of two colors which is bright sunny yellow and deep blue your watch can also use a combination of these two colors when you look at dory there is a lot of predominance uh, what stands out are the eyes the poppy eyes so we can use that in the uh, watch as well you can design two chronographs on the watch which are inspired by the eyes of dory now because we are experimenting and we are not worried about the practicality we are not 100% sure of what we are doing correct and whenever there is any form of experiment in your portfolio that project or that uh, work that you've done should not be at the topmost segment of your portfolio instead you want to use your best project at the front page of your presentation because that is what gets the maximum attention of someone who's reviewing your portfolio for the first time like we see in the second page here again this is some form of product design it's a kind of uh, accessory design where you've uh, ideated new ways of how you can transform a bag and you can make it look more cooler and you can increase the functionality of the product which is all great i'm very happy you're having fun but like i said it is an experiment and any form of experiment should not be at the front or the beginning segments of your portfolio coming to the third page it's about redesigning an already existing product i love the idea it's very new it's very fresh and i love the fact how you've sketched different scenarios of how the new product the transformed product would be used if you have uh, transformed the product physically in 3d form then you can also click pictures of the before and after version this will make your presentation seem a lot more interesting and even if your transformed product is not meeting your expectations you know sometimes we start a project and the result does not turn out the way we thought it would if that happens if your experiment has failed you can click the picture and save it with you on your phone so in your interview if somebody asks you did you actually transform the product you can share the picture of your failed experiment coming to the next page this is about character design and i love mr fable and nariel anna i think both of these are very interesting gentlemen to look at i don't know the person who sketched the portfolio personally of course but i can tell that they've had a lot of fun in sketching these characters because you can truly make out when somebody enjoys doing something you can make out from the quality of the sketch and this is what i'm talking about this deserves the first spot of your portfolio because this is your strength 
there's a lot of uh, expressions there are funny expressions there's a lot of eye movement that happens in this page and if you can add colors to Nadia Lanna it will make your page look even more engaging next page again is also a form of uh, character design but it's in a paper toy format it looks really interesting to look at and this is also something you should flaunt in your beginning segments of your portfolio you know when something is your strength which clearly here is the character design segment you don't have to be limited to one or two slides you can keep having fun you can design your own little comic uh, story you can maybe use both of these characters you can use mr fable and nadiel anna what happens when they two meet you can design your own short story like a funny story and maybe you can ideate all of this in one sheet it does not have to be very detailed let's move on to the next segment this is a clay sculpture and what i love about the slide is that you have shown the process of the sculpture rather than just displaying one finished picture when you show the process it increases the engagement of your slide uh, this is a divine composition i have nothing to add it's very clean it's very neat it is so divine that it is beyond any judgment or criticism and uh, any piece of content which is a part of your portfolio could always be a topic of discussion this is something that we have to be mentally prepared for if you also have more clay sculptures with you which are more neutral in nature not something that you're very close to or sensitive about you can maybe add that to your portfolio instead let's move on to the next slide this is communication design it's basically logo designing that you've done and you've done your homework you've chosen your colors very uh, thoughtfully very happy with that but because you know character design is your strength you can always color the bear that you have uh, sketched on the right side and it will make your poster a lot more interesting to look at the next slide is of sketchbook pages and like you've mentioned on your text on the right side that these pictures are inspired from a photo if you have the original photo with you you can also add that in your slide and you need not add a lot of text towards the right side it could just be one or two lines that talks about your inspiration from the picture and how you had fun or how you experimented with different color mediums you need not elaborate a lot because this is just your sketchbook when you're being asked something about it in your interview then you can go on elaborating overall this was a great portfolio and i'm very happy you worked so hard and all of these projects are so diverse now i'll just give you a couple of quick tips to remember before you finally hit the send button for your portfolio submission when we work so hard for our portfolio what we don't want to do is spoil our first impression and you know what's the fastest way to spoil your first impression wrong spelling <laughs> so do make sure to do a spell check the second rule is if you want your presentation to look more neat and clean then you can follow a simple margin rule what that means is your left side should be equal to your right side your top segment should be equal to your bottom segment or your top segment can be slightly more than the bottom area this helps you to make your presentation look more clean and professional of course once you get into a design school you will learn how to tastefully break these rules but when you're starting off as a fresher you can stick to the basics i hope all of these quick tips were helpful to you in some way thank you so much for watching like i keep saying if you have any questions or any compliments to share you can write all of that in the comment section and i will try my best to get back as soon as possible <laughs> thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day ahead bye